Hey Vesna, it's Audrey. Come in and I'm going to give you a tour of my Barbie dream house. Follow me. So this is my living room slash dining area. I don't really eat here. That's what it was for, but I end up doing all my crafts and everything. So. And as you can see, we have the walls here that are striped candy cane like and anybody can do this if you get two things of paint tape and a ruler basically you just measure however thick you want it to be and you can do tape and paint it a color and take the tape off and paint this color and it actually took a really long time I'm not gonna lie um, I love the way it looks though so it was worth it this is one of my many closets I don't know if you guys remember this one this was my Halloween costume, but I plan on wearing it again soon. These are old film strips of Edie Sedgwick from the Andy Warhol period. So actually on my ceiling, if you notice, I have all these lanterns taped up. They're not practical, they don't have light bulbs in them, but they still look really cool. And so we're gonna go to the kitchen now. This is my Barbie wall. It's actually sticker frames with portraits of Barbies in them. And this is my favorite. It's the Rebel Barbie. She looks like she had a very long night the night before. So this is the kitchen. These are my honey bears. And I actually um, specifically buy honey in a bear container because when it's all done, I'll like put tea in it or like a hot drink and take it with me. So this is a portrait of my friend Fetus, who lives in Philadelphia, and it freaks everyone out and they ask me why I have to have this guy here. Here is my Hello Kitty toaster, with, and it's supposed to imprint Hello Kitty on your toast, and it doesn't. False advertising. So I think that's about as exciting as the kitchen's gonna get, so we can go check out my bedroom now. So we're now in the bedroom, where supposedly the magic happens. So here is the other closet. One of my favorite summer items right now is the vintage like 90s flower dresses. This area I use for whenever I'm looking through magazines and I see really cool makeup or something I'm inspired by. I'll tape it up here for that week or month or however long so when I'm doing my makeup I can look over here and decide if that's something I want to do that day or not. And this up here is where I keep all my accessories, like hair bows and necklaces, jewelry, sunglasses. So we're back in my bedroom. This is like my little energy table, and I have incense and sage and candles and Buddha and rosaries and everything. This is actually a photograph of my grandma when she was super young, and she's making tea in a prom dress with flowers in her hair, and that's basically my entire life. And this is the bed, which is full of stuffed animals, and it's actually pretty comfortable. And these are basically clothes from shoots or events, the kind of stuff you can only wear a few times. This is actually one of my favorite dresses ever, I got it. Um, it's imported from Japan, and it's basically big glittery sunglasses smoking a cigarette. This area is kind of like my bulletin board of all my memories and photos and friends. And here is a photo of me when I was 17, when I used to BMX. Pretty funny. So this is my bathroom. You come in. You can see that I really like products. So I have a whole windowsill full of bubble baths and lotions and you name it, I have it. And Kelly Osborne had a bathroom with big bubbles in it. And I always remembered that. So when I did my bathroom, I wanted bubbles, pink bubbles all around it. So I just took a plate and I circled it and I painted it a darker shade of pink with some white in it for the bubble effect. So that basically concludes my house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing photos of your rooms or your house, especially if you've done something unique or add to it. So upload photos or send them to me and can't wait to take a look. So thank you so much for checking out my house.